Now let us see how to execute the same test on multiple devices as uh, a parallel test execution. So what I'm going to do, uh, I have opened up an emulator here and this is the real device. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch uh, the same test and it, it should be running on both the devices parallel. So let's see how to parallel execute the test cases. So uh, it's very simple to do uh, with APM Python. Uh, normally what you need to do, you need to do some changes in your uh, conf uh, test.py file. So what we'll be doing is uh, I'll be copying this stuff and uh, I'll just comment it out. I'm going to create a separate one for parallel test execution and this I'm going to remove it for the time being. Just a moment. Right and here as well I'm going to do some changes. I'm going to remove this and then I'll be changing this app package to browser. I'll be testing it with browser first. Browser and then I'm going to name the browser as Chrome. Device and uh, platform name should remain same. And there is one additional thing, one additional capability that you need to add is something called as UDID. So this is your device ID. Now when I've connected two devices over here, you can connect two real devices as well. That shouldn't be an issue or you can connect two emulators as well or one emulator, one real device, right? So what you need to do is uh, if I see if I do ADP devices, I'm getting these two IDs. So this is the UDID for emulator and this is the UDID for real device. So I'll be giving in, in place of this, I'll be giving the UDID as this. But I don't only want to execute it on emulator, I'll be executing it on real device as well. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll gonna use params over here in PyTest fixtures. There's a, a feature called as params. So in this, I can pass on a parameter in a form of a list. So I'll say device one and then device two right and here i'll be adding a request so what i'll do i'll add a condition i'll say if request dot param equal to equal to device one so if device one comes from these parameters then do these configurations for uh, device one, right? And do up till here. I'll be removing this global driver for a moment. And then I'm gonna keep it up till here only. And then what I'll do if, I'll just copy this. A moment. Should be properly indented. Just a moment. Right. And here, the only thing you need to do is start it on 2.4 and start this on a different board that is 2.5. Right. So here I'll be giving the second device ID that is this. Copy this and paste it here. Right. And after this, after this. Uh, if condition, you can add these things over here. The yield part and the driver quit part, you can add it over here. 
right? So this is the changes that you need to do it in your conf test.py file. And then what I'll do, I'll just copy this file. Paste it here and say test apm parallel execution. And here I'll be making a couple of changes. Uh, I don't need this data provider for the time being. You can add data provider if you want or if you don't want then you can remove the data provider. We don't need this and we don't need this. Right, so it's not a parameterized test. So we're gonna remove this. And then uh, driver should come from the same. And I'm gonna remove all these part. And then I'm gonna navigate driver.get. Let's say I'm gonna navigate to http google.com. Then I'll say driver dot find element by x path at name equal to q and then I'll be saying dot send keys hello apm right so this is what I'll be giving it uh, in the test the test will gonna run parallel based on uh, what we have given over here so right now it is not parallel right now we have given two parameters first this will be called and then the device two will be called so first it should be device one and then it should be device two right so when device one is called it is going to execute it on emulator when device two is called it is going to execute it on uh, the real device and when we run this both parallel then it will be executed on both the devices right so uh, that's about it in the coding part. Now the next configuration we need to do uh, it using your ABM GUI. So what you need to do, you need to, uh, this, is, this feature is actually supported in Windows only where we can launch one more ABM GUI tool. For Mac, uh, I'll be showing you something uh, that you can do it from command prompt. You need to start your APM services on different port on command prompt on terminal itself. So that I'm going to show it to you in the next example. But let's see, uh, I'm going to launch uh, two APM GUI. This I'll be starting with 4.7.2.4 start. And this I'll be starting it with 4.7.2.5 start right and that's it so now if i run this right now we have not defined anything for parallel so it should be executing in a sequence mode but it should execute one by one in each device so let's run this and first okay it's not responding simulator should be active then only it should work on simulator so it's looking for the device and it got an exception. Now it should run on the real device. Let's wait. Oh, it failed over here as well. So to test failed. Why it failed? Let me check. Let me check. HTTP google.com this looks good let me see let me let me try running it once more okay what happened to the emulator
Okay, seems like some configuration issue. Let me go through the logs. Uh, just give me a moment, let me troubleshoot it. This looks good. Okay, I guess the issue is here. Browser name. Right, uh, instead of browser name, I've given it as browser. So probably this could be an issue. Right, otherwise it's a simple code, it should work fine. Let's run it again. Uh, see, launched on simulator. Now we're getting to Google and should type hello ABM and then quit and test pass and now launching on the other device okay it has actually launched but uh this is not working so i may need to read reconnect uh, this It, it actually worked on the real device. That's the reason we got test cases pass, right? Both the test cases are passed. So uh, now let us run it uh, in a parallel mode. So if you search for uh, like something in case uh, PyTest parallel execution, you're gonna see a plugin somewhere that is called as xdest. So this is the plugin that you need to install for parallel test execution. So what you need to do, just copy this and go over here in your settings. And then xtest, you can install it from here. And then install the package. So once you install it, you just need to go inside your pytest.ini file and here uh, just press enter and write a d d o p t s equal to minus n2. n2 is like number of process that you want to run. So we want to run two process in case we there are uh, three uh, mobile device attached then we can run three uh, process at the same time right so if I give two then it is going to run two process at the same time so your test case should be automatically uh, executed in parallel mode so whatever that you have given over here two parameters your test will be executed both in a parallel mode so if you go over here and if you run it again let me see if the device is connected here so if I run this again See, both the processes are device one, device two started at the same time. And let us see if both are getting executed in a parallel mode or not. So simulate emul, uh, emulators are a little slow. So they may gonna take some time and real device is fast. See, okay, it's running on both the device, although 
simulator we are getting this close app but don't worry about it it should navigate to google see and then executing it and both tests are successfully executed right so this is how you do parallel testing uh, this is a very simple way of doing parallel testing on your real devices you can connect multiple devices and you can run it like this right same test cases can be executed on multiple devices all right so that's all in this example thank you